you're not wearing anything on your feet. And as you look down at your feet, you'll know what you're standing on. Are you inside or outside? Outside. You're outside. Uh -huh. So you're barefoot outside. Huh? Is it day or night? Day. It's daytime. Uh -huh. And as you look down at your bare, bare feet there and start to connect with your body, do you feel that you're male or female? I think I'm male. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And knowing that you can view yourself from various angles, I want you to see yourself now and describe to me what are you wearing? Raggy clothes. Uh huh. Raggy trousers. Raggy clothes and trousers. A top that's dirty and ripped. Dirty top. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. How old do you feel? What's your age? I'm young. I'm under under ten. You're under ten. Uh huh. But walking and. Mm hmm. And what's your name? Just hear your name being called. Do you have a name? I don't hear a name. You don't hear a name. It's uh -huh. very busy. It's very busy where I am. It's very busy. So describe this place. Is it a village, a town, <clears throat> a market? What is it? I'm on some grassland. You're on grassland. There's lots of noise in the distance. Mm -hmm. I think it might even be a battle. Uh-huh. I can hear guns. I can... I can mm -hmm. see armour. Armour? Yeah. And if I was to say to you the country, what country would it be? The first one that comes to mind. I think it's Scotland. It's Scotland. Uh -huh. And in a moment I'm just going to tap you on the forehead and when I do, you'll see some numbers and that'll be the year that you lived in Scotland. So when you're ready, three, two, one, what year is it? I can just see 37. 37, uh huh. So you're a young boy in rags watching this in Scotland. You say 37, is it 1637, 1837? What springs to mind? Mm. Just 37. Just 37. Mm -hmm. So you're in Scotland now, watching that battle, though, seeing that armour and those guns. So tell me, are you alone where you are, or are there others around you? I'm alone where I am. Everybody else is in the distance. Oh, so they're in the distance. Very good. Uh-huh. And as you're looking at this battle, emotionally, how are you feeling? Glad I'm not in it. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh -huh. So who are they fighting then in Scotland? What? Who is it that they're fighting? Do you know? two sets there's people in armour and there's people not in armour yeah these people in armour do they have a uniform or are they just fighting with no more clothes they're in a uniform they're in a uniform what colour is that uniform there then take a look blue it's a blue uniform uh -huh. mm -hmm. and are they Scottish or are they from a different place, these in the blue uniform? They're not Scottish. They're not Scottish. If you could use your imagination, if you knew, where would they be from? Are they from another land?
can't hear anybody speak. I can just hear noise. Yeah, you can just hear noise. Mm -hmm. And as you're looking at that in the distance, away from that, appreciating the fact that you're not in that scene, tell me, do you have any brothers and sisters in that life? No. No? Uh-huh. And do you have any parents? Mm. I have a mum. You have a mum? Uh-huh. So let's go and visit your mother then. So just now as you listen to the sound of my voice, I want you to drift float towards where your mother will be. Drifting and floating now. Be there now. So describe your mother to me. What is she like? Is she tall or short? Short. She's short. Uh -huh. And as you connect with her emotions, how do you feel about your mother? I like her. Yeah? So you've got a good relationship. Mm -hmm. She's kind. Mm -hmm. She's a kind mother. Uh -huh. And what colour eyes does she have there? Blue. Blue. And as you look into those blue eyes, knowing that the eyes are the windows to the soul, You'll begin to telepathically communicate with that soul and tell me, does your mother remind you of anybody in this life? It'll just be a flash. Yes. Who is she? My grandma. She's your grandma. Uh-huh. So your grandma has worked with you before then. Mm -hmm. And do you have a father? No. What happened to your father? I think he's in the battle. Oh, the father is in the battle? Uh-huh. How, how do you feel about your father being in the battle? Mum says it'll be okay. And is it okay? Does he come home? I don't know yet. Uh-huh. So this place where you live with your mother, describe it to me. What does it look like? It's a little cottage. It's a cottage? Mm -hmm. It's nice. Mm -hmm. So you live in the countryside? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Lots of garden. Lots of garden? Who looks after the garden then? I think mum's doing that as well. Uh-huh, very good, very good. So what I want you to do now, I want you to look at your mum and I want you to hear her voice. What does your mum call you in that life? What's your name? Can you hear? Peter. Peter. Okay, Peter. So, Peter, what I want to do now is I want to move to another significant time in that play, in, in that life, when something else is happening. So, just feel yourself closing that scene like you're just switching a, from a movie with a remote control and go drifting and floating forward. And you're going to go forward to a memory of when something significant was happening to you. So you're drifting, floating. One, three, two, and one. Be there now. How old are you now, Peter? 21. You're 21. Are you still Peter or are you somebody else? I'm still Peter. You're still Peter. So Peter, you're 21 years old, are you still living in that cottage with your mother and father? No. So describe to me, if you could, your um, surroundings. Where are you? I'm on a boat. I'm in uniform. A boat and uniform. What colour is your uniform? Grey. It's grey. Uh-huh. And what are you doing on that boat there, Peter? I'm working on some kind of mast. You're working on a mast? Mm-hmm. And what is this boat made of? Is it metal or wood? 
Watch. Mm -hmm. And as you're on this boat, you must be going somewhere. Where is it that you're going, Peter? Where are you travelling to? America. America? Uh -huh. And what is there in America for you? Or do you just work on the boat? I work on the boat. Mm -hmm. There's lots of people getting on this boat. Uh -huh. So it's a passenger boat? Yeah. Mm -hmm. What year is it there? Eighteen hundreds, I think. Eighteen hundreds. Mm -hmm. So as you see all these people getting on this boat and you're working there, you're working on those masts, you must be working with others. Yeah. Is there one particular person that you're more affiliated to than the rest? I want you to find him on that ship now. And I want you to look into his eyes and tell me, is he working with you in this life? Yes. Who is he? It's my friend Jamie. It's Jamie. Very good. Mm -hmm. And do you enjoy working on that boat? Yes. Yeah, you are. And tell me, do you have a partner at all? No. And you've not got a partner. So let's go all the way now. See yourself in America where you're transporting these passengers. Do you stay in America or do you come back? I don't think we get to America. You don't get to America? Mm hmm. So. I want you to go to back in time to just before the ship doesn't get there. And tell me what kind of day is it? Is it spring, summer or autumn? When I'm working it's summer. Summer? Mm hmm So what happens to the boat? Be above the boat now, you're just an observer. Tell me what happens to the boat. The boat crashes. Uh huh. So, what does it crash into? It's a crash in the sea. It's a crash in the sea. Mm -hmm. so does it crash onto rocks or is it another boat? There's no other boat. There's no other boat. So you went into shallow water and crashed underneath? Not sure. Uh-huh. So there's lots of noise. Lots of noise. People abandoning ship. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Did you lose your life then or did you survive that? I've lost my life. You've lost your life. So Peter, what I want you to do now, I want you to be just above your body now. And tell me, were you stuck inside the, the ship or were you in the sea? I'm in the sea. You're in the sea. Very good. And now that you're out of the body now, just stop being an observer looking at that body. How do you feel now that you're out of the body and you're just a soul? Cold. Cold? Mm-hmm. So what I want you to do now is look around and see if someone or something's come to collect you to take you back to spirit. As I talk to you, you'll just know that someone or something getting closer and closer and tell me, what do you see? My dad. Your dad's come to collect? Mm-hmm. Very good. Step into the energy of your father. Feel his embrace and his love, his unconditional love. And knowing that your father's come, you can telepathically communicate with his mind. What message 
has he come to give you there? He's telling me everything's okay. Everything's okay, you did okay. Yeah. So just allow him to take you back to your group. So take his hand now and go drifting, floating up and up and up. Feel yourself either rising up or going in a tunnel until you get to the other end. Either in a in a room or a building or outside. Tell me where does he take you? Where is your soul route? We're in a park. You're in a park? Mm-hmm. Are you on your own in that park? Just me and him. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. And what's the purpose of you two being together there? Are you communicating and yeah, talking? Yeah, just... Uh-huh. We're talking of... There's lots and lots of... Thousands of daisies. Thousands of daisies? How magical. Mm-hmm. He's making them into a chain. He's making them into a chain? Yeah. So he's brightening your life, mm. putting a smile back on your face. Uh -huh. So is your father part of your soul group then? Yes. Yeah? So who else is in your group? Are they, do you know these souls? How many people are in your group? I don't know if they're with us. Mm -hmm. You're just having some time on your own with your father. Mm. Very good. Well, now I want to close that scene and I want us to connect with your higher self, your inner self, your subconscious mind. So I just want you to take a breath now and just as you breathe out, step away from the body and allow your inner self to come forward and work with me. And tell me, is your inner self energy male or female or neither? Female. Female. Uh -huh. So good afternoon, inner self. Tell me, do you have a name? What can I call you today? Hilda. Hilda. Uh -huh. Hilda, is this the first life you've had with my client or have you had many? Many. Many? Mm -hmm. And what is it that you do with the client then? What kind of things do you work on? Behaviour. Behaviour, yeah. And how's she doing with behaviour? Good. Good. Very good. So now what we're going to do, we're going to do a body scan, a total body scan.